Poodle, what are you doing? Tesco and hacking. Tesco isn't Tesco shopping. Do you mean Cisco? Yes, sorry, I always forget. But, Poodle, this is the wrong course. Aren't we studying Cisco, not hacking? No, both. Both? You want to learn to be a hacker? Yes. What is a router? I don't know. What is a switch? I think a switch is to switch on the light. Switch on the light. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's one type of switch, but you need to learn switching in networking so that you can hack networks. Yes. Is net is hacking fun? Yes. Are you a good or bad poodle? Very bad. Why are you bad? Because I hack. Because you hack. You wrote a very good hacking program there, poodle. Yes. Are you hacking networks? Yes, there's a new program much better than this. Are you going to break networks once you learn about routers and switches? Yes. Will you pass your CCNA exam, poodle? Yes. And what about everyone else? Do they need to learn to become CCNAs? Yes. Why? Because they have to. They have to? Mm -hmm. You have to pass your exam. So if Poodle can pass her CCNA exam, so can you. And then you need to learn how to hack, is that right? Yes, thumbs up. Well done, Poodle. I want to welcome you to my complete CCNA course. This is your opportunity to change your life. If you want to learn anything about networking, so you want to become a network engineer, or perhaps you want to become an ethical hacker, you need to have a solid foundation in networking, and the best way to do that is to get a CCNA. And that's one of the reasons that I'm giving away my CCNA course on YouTube. I want to help more of you change your lives like I changed my life many, many years ago. This course contains the videos that you need to learn the technologies that are covered in the Cisco CCNA exam but it also contains labs, Packet Tracer labs, including Packet Tracer assessment labs, where I'm going to assess your knowledge and make sure that you know what you think you know. I'm gonna make sure that you actually understand the technology by testing and verifying your knowledge. It also contains quiz questions. Make sure that you can answer the quiz questions. Make sure that you can get through the Packet Tracer labs before you go and take the real exam. What are you going to do, however? Are you going to put in the time study and learn and change your life. Are you going to be the same tomorrow as you are today? Or are you going to change your life by learning new technologies? You know, I did that many, many years ago. That's why I'm a strong believer in learning. I'm a strong believer in putting the effort in every day to learn something new and you will be able to change your life. You can change your life by becoming certified in networking, by getting a CCNA as an example, by getting other certifications. This is only the beginning of the journey. You are responsible for your life. Don't be the same tomorrow as you are today. Do something today to change your life tomorrow. Put in the effort now, even though it's difficult. You're gonna be learning new technologies. It's hard, it's difficult to understand. Don't worry, we've all been there. In the beginning, I remember trying to climb this mountain to learn this new technology. It was really, really difficult. You'll have the same experience, perhaps. Put in the effort, make sure that you learn something new every day, and you can change your life. The world has changed dramatically. It's now possible to learn new technologies for free on YouTube by watching courses such as this. Go and make the changes that you need in your life. Don't just watch television or stuff that's not gonna help you. Learn something new every day and change your life. Now let's talk about the CCNA exam 200-301. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I spoke about the exam in quite a bit of detail, so I won't do it again here. I just wanna give you a brief overview of the exam. So we are announcing uh, new Cisco certifications. So the new Cisco certification program has one CCNA. Oh, wow. A Cisco certified network associate for people entering the workforce, making sure they have the basics of networking they need to go and work as part of the team, get going on networking. Big change Cisco made compared to the previous CCNA exam. There are no simulations in this exam. So you don't need to actually type CLI commands into simulations. When I took my exam, and from what I've heard, there are still no simulations in the CCNA exam. You have a multiple choice. 
single answer, multiple choice, multiple answers. But you won't be asked questions such as choose all of the best answers. You'll be asked things like choose the two correct answers or three correct answers. So it's not a vague number of answers that are correct. You'll know exactly how many answers to, to select. So whether it's two answers or three answers, etc. There are also drag and drop questions in the exam. So multiple choice, single answer, multiple choice, multiple answers, drag and drop type questions, no simulations. Pass marks vary. They typically vary high on Cisco exams. Here's my exam, which I took on the first day that the CCNA became available. I'll retake the CCNA exam when I'm allowed to because it'll be good to see what's changed. The exam is 120 minutes in length. You typically get 102 questions. That's what most people seem to be getting. So you get just over a minute per question. Make sure that you use your time wisely. Don't spend too much time on one question. You've got 102 odd questions to get through within two hours. Use your time wisely. Don't waste time. The good thing about the exam is because there's so many questions and it covers such a broad range of topics, if you don't know the answer to one question, don't get flustered. Don't get worried. If you don't know the answer, take a guess and move to the next question. And that being said, you can't go backwards. So once you answer a question, that's it. You can't go back and change your answers. You can only go forward. But don't waste time on one question. If you don't know the answer, take your best shot, just to guess and move to the next question. Don't let one or two questions that stump you or that trick you make you worry. Remember, you've got 102 questions in the exam. So if you don't know the answer to one or two, that's okay. You can make it up on other questions. Another big change talking about changes is you now can take the exams remotely. You can take the exam from your home. You can take the exam online but it's a proctored exam, so someone is watching you. Have a look at this video where I discuss my online exam experience when I did the CCMP Encore exam. I won't repeat that here. Basically, I talk about you know my experience taking an online exam. It's very different to going to a Pearson View testing center. I actually prefer online exams to going into a testing center. It's just easier for me. When I took my CCMP Encore exam, I couldn't go to a testing center anyway because the world was locked down basically. But I personally prefer the online exam experience, but a lot of people have found it to be a very negative experience and have had problems taking an online exam. It's really up to you. Do you prefer going to a testing center or do you prefer taking it online? The choice is yours these days. Exam information is basically the same. Two hours, 102 questions or so. Be careful with your time. Big, big tip. And again, if you wanna know more details about the topics covered in the exam, have a look at this video where I go through it in a lot of detail. Big changes, just in summary, no simulations, multiple choice, single answer, multiple choice, multiple answers. You also get drag and drop questions, no simulations. Okay, so that's a summary of the Cisco CCNA exam. Most important thing is that you go out there and make a success of your life. Don't let people or circumstances hold you back. Go and make a success of your life. I'm David Bumble, and I want to wish you all the very best. Mm -hmm.